Alcopop is a colloquial term describing certain flavored alcoholic beverages with relatively low alcohol content, including malt beverages to which various fruit juices or other flavorings have been added, beverages containing wine to which ingredients such as fruit juice or other flavorings have been added, beverages containing distilled alcohol and sweet liquids such as fruit juices or other flavorings. The term alcopop is used by advocates of tighter restrictions on alcoholic beverage sales who argue that the beverages are especially appealing to underage drinkers. Other terms include FAB, FMB, PPS, and RTD. The alcoholic beverage industry does not use the term alcopop, using terms like wine cooler instead. Description There is a large variety of beverages produced and marketed around the world as well as within each market which are described as alcopops. They tend to be sweet and served in small bottles in North America. 275 milliliters in South Africa and Germany, 330 milliliters in Europe, and between 4% and 7% ABV. In Europe, Canada, and South Africa alcopops tend to be pre-mixed spirits, including vodka or rum. In the United States, on the other hand, alcopops often start out as unhopped beers, depending on the state in which they are sold. Much of the malt is removed, with subsequent addition of alcohol, sugar, coloring and flavoring. Such drinks are legally classified as beers in virtually all states and can therefore be sold in outlets that do not or cannot carry spirit-based drinks. There are, however, stronger ones that are simply pre-mixed spirits, often containing about 12.5% alcohol by volume, that can be sold only where hard liquor is available. In the United States there is a proportionally limited tax on alcopops relative to those sold in Europe. Although some states are considering legislation to bring their tax levels closer to the European model, which is credited with limiting consumption by youth. According to the U.S. Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau, flavored malt beverages are brewery products that differ from traditional malt beverages such as beer, ale, lager, porter, stout, or malt liquor in several respects. Flavored malt beverages exhibit little or no traditional beer or malt beverage character. Their flavor is derived primarily from added flavors rather than from malt and other materials used in fermentation. At the same time, flavored malt beverages are marketed in traditional beer type bottles and cans and distributed to the alcohol beverage market through beer and malt beverage wholesalers, and their alcohol content is similar to other malt beverages in the 4 to 6 percent alcohol by volume range. Although flavored malt beverages are produced at breweries, their method of production differs significantly from the production of other malt beverages and beer. In producing flavored malt beverages, Brewers brew a fermented base of beer from malt and other brewing materials. Brewers then treat this base using a variety of processes in order to remove malt beverage character from the base. For example, they remove the color, bitterness, and taste generally associated with beer, ale, porter, stout, and other malt beverages. This leaves a base product to which brewers add various flavors, which typically contain distilled spirits to achieve the desired taste profile and alcohol level. While the alcohol content of flavored malt beverages is similar to that of most traditional malt beverages, the alcohol in many of them is derived primarily from the distilled spirits component of the added flavors rather than from fermentation. A Euro 70 Fed. Reg 194A Sec. In some continental European countries, such as Austria and Germany, Bottled beer cocktails and shandies are available, which are being marketed the same way like alcopops. However, these beverages are based on traditional hopped beers and therefore not considered to be alcopops. History Wine coolers gained popularity in the U.S. market in the 1980s when Bartles and James began advertising their brand of wine coolers, which were followed by other brands, including when Bacardi introduced the Breezer. The growth in popularity occurred around 1993 with two dogs, DNA Alcoholic Spring Water, Hooper's Hooch and Zyma, which was marketed under the title of Malternative Beverage. Wine coolers were on the decline due to the increase in the U.S. federal wine tax, and using a malt beverage base became the new industry standard. Later, Mike's Hard Lemonade was released in the United States, with humorous commercials depicting what they called violence against lemons. 
Smnoff also came out with another citrus-flavored malt beverage in the United States in the late 1990s called Smnoff Ice, which promoted itself with flashy commercials, usually involving trendy young people dancing in unlikely situations and places. Some have expressed concern that such drinks might appeal to children as they tend to be sweet and brightly colored. Many Alcapop advertising campaigns have been criticized as trying to make Alcapops appeal to young drinkers. In the United Kingdom, that led to a media outcry during the mid-1990s as the tabloid press associated Alcapops with underage drinking which damaged sales and would lead to off-licenses withdrawing them from their stores. In response to a complaint from the Center for Science in the Public Interest, the Federal Trade Commission conducted an extensive investigation in 2001. The agency found no evidence of intent to target minors with the FMB products, packaging, or advertising. Furthermore, after reviewing the consumer survey evidence submitted by CSPI in support of the proposition that FMBs were predominantly popular with minors, the FTC concluded that flaws in the survey's methodology limited the ability to draw conclusions from the survey data. The Federal Trade Commission again in 2003 investigated FMB ads product placement, and internal company marketing documents after a directive from the conferees of the House and Senate Appropriations Committees. The Commission's investigation found no evidence of targeting underage consumers in the marketing of FMBs. Adults 21 to 29 appear to be the intended target of FMB marketing, and found that the majority of FMB drinkers are over the age of 27. In December 2003, Ireland raised the tax on Alcapops to equal that of spirits, the second highest in Europe. Germany has imposed an extra duty of 0.80 euro to 0.90 euro per bottle effective August 1, 2004. To circumvent higher taxation, some German producers have switched to wine coolers, which are being marketed the same way. Some bottles now carry a warning stating that they are not for consumption by people under the legal drinking age. On May 11, 2008, the Australian government increased the excise tax on Alcapops by 70%, to bring it in line with the tax on spirits. There is the concern this tax will encourage consumers to buy straight spirits and mix the drinks themselves, possibly resulting in drinks with a higher alcohol concentration than the pre-mixed alternatives. This tax was revoked during March 2009 meaning the government had to pay back the $290 million collected on the tax. The Federal Trade Commission report states, further, industry conducted research on consumers over the age of 21 who use FMBs shows that these consumers generally view the FMBs as substitutes for beer. This research also concludes that consumers are not likely to consume more than two or three FMBs on any occasion because of the product's sweetness. Alcopop Brands Alcopop brands are numerous and their alcoholic base vary greatly. Some notable brands include, Smnoff Ice, Mike's Hard Lemonade, Bacardi Breezer, Sky Blue, Jack Daniel's Hard Cola and in the UK WKD Original Vodka. Attempts to discourage Alcapops. Equals Australia equals, the Australian government increased the tax on these drinks under the 2008 budget to the same rate as spirits, volumetrically, in an effort to stop binge drinking. The tax was criticised by the opposition as a tax grab and voted down in the Senate on March 18, 2009. Before its rejection, the tax had already raised at least 290 million Australian dollars after April 2008. In April 2009, some Labour Party MPs planned to resubmit the tax to the Senate, and it was finally approved in August 2009, increasing the cost of the drinks from $39 to $66 a litre. The 2013 study concluded that the tax had no impact on binge drinking of the drinks by teenagers. Equals California equals, in 2008 AB 346 was signed into law, a bill which requires manufacturers of Alcapops to carry a warning label stating attention, this drink contains alcohol. This bill was praised by groups advocating against alcohol use by minors and younger adults since these drinks are sometimes favored by young people due to their flavor. Equals Germany equals, 
On July 1, 2004 the German government increased the tax on mixed drinks based on spirits by roughly 1 euro per 275 milliliter bottle in order to stop teenagers drinking excessively, although those drinks were already prohibited to minors under the age of 18. This had two implications, the most common Nalkapops, such as Snoff Ice or Bacardi Breezer, were nearly taken off the market. Other manufacturers changed the recipes of their drinks, replacing spirit alcohols by wine or beer, but with the same ABV, enabling these mixed drinks to be sold legally to minors 16 and 17 years of age. Equals South African equals, in South Africa, spirit coolers cannot be sold to persons under the age of 18. They are only sold at liquor stores. Equals United Kingdom equals, in the UK Secretary of State for Health, Patricia Hewitt called for a tax increase on such products, although this had not yet happened as of October 2013. See also, Comparison of Alcopops. References Sources, Bloomberg News, FTC says alcohol type not aimed at minors, Los Angeles Times, June 5, 2002. Melillo, WFTC, Ads for Alcopops not aimed at teens, Adweek, June 6, 2002. American Medical Association, AMA says alcohol industry targets teen girls, December 16, 2004. California boosts tax on Alcopops, Associated Press, August 15, 2007. External links, Portman Group, New Wave of Sophisticated Alcopops Fuels Teenage Binge Drinking The Guardian, December 14, 2002, The Demonized Drink. How has youth drinking evolved 20 years since the launch of Alcopops? The Independent, June 29, 2013, The Quiet Death of the Alcopop BBC News Magazine, July 31, 2013, Alcopops at DMOZ.